Man, this auditorium is the greatest building in the world. The atmosphere personified. And then I'll never forget, man, we were out there, and me and my buddy Rob, he's giving me the elbow. He goes, man, you're as big as him. He goes, you got to get in this. Man, you ought to be a wrestler. I said, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And so I'd, I'd wanted to for a long time. And I'll be damned if I didn't go home. We had a couple days later, and I was changing channels, and there was that commercial that Chris Adams put on for his wrestling academy. And I said, that's it. That's, that's, my, that's my way in. Hello, everybody. This is Gentleman Chris Adams here, bringing you exciting news about our May three-day pro wrestling camp. You'll spend three full days working out in the same ring that you see on your TV here at the world-famous Sportatorium. The one thing that surprised me when I showed up that first day, I just thought there was going to be a bunch of monsters in there that looked like me, just the killers that wanted to get in the business of pro wrestling, but they were just in regular people off the street. I don't know if I met Steve as much as I saw Steve. I was uh, injured during a match, so I went up in what's known as the crow's nest, where family and friends could watch the matches. And that happened to be the first lesson that gentleman Chris Adams was giving for his new wrestling school. And uh, me and a couple of guys were laughing about how bad uh, they, all of the trainees were, all of them except this one guy with long blonde hair and definite, you know, uh, gift of athleticism. And it was clear that he had it, whatever it is, he had it right away. Biography, WWE Legends, an eight-part event. Starts with Stone Cold Steve Austin, Sunday, April 18th at 8 on A&E.